MJS, it's Miss Han. How are you doing? Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, and I want to wish a very happy birthday to Jackson H in grade two. I hope it's a good one. Miss Han's morning message seems to have turned into an afternoon message. I'm going to do my very best to get it done tomorrow bright and early. And if I do, send me a Google chat telling me a great job because it has been a challenge. I am going to tell you some dinosaur themed jokes now. Ready? What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dinosaur. What does a triceratops sit on? Hmm, triceratops. It's tricera bottom. I hope you enjoyed those jokes. Remember, you can add jokes on Flipgrid and other friends can see them. You can comment on them and I might even use one on one of these messages. I'm going to share my screen now for a read aloud about a dinosaur. And I actually read this story to some of you at the very beginning of the school year. Uh, and I want to read it again because it is a funny one. It's called, We Don't Eat Our Classmates. We don't eat our classmates, Ryan T. Higgins. Hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct, I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was important. Penelope's mom brought her a, bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. So, she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex said Mrs. Noodleman, we don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at how slimy he is after Penelope spit him out. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends, but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are just the same as us on the inside, only tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amoto again. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp. Eee! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Wah! Look at Penelope. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, 
She lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon, Penelope made friends. Found you! Want a brownie? I help make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her. He licks his lips. because dinosaurs are delicious. I hope you enjoyed that story. I thought it was a funny one. Anyway, have a great day. The sun is shining, so hopefully you're working hard to get your work done, and then shortly you can head out for some fun.